Okay, this one is our tutorial lesson. There's a 5.3, refraction of the wave. Okay, now we go to discuss the objective question. Okay, let's see the objective question. This was an answer for the tutorial. There's a 5.3. So you can check 1 until 8. Okay, so from here, I want to discuss about some of the question. Okay, let's see the following question. Okay, there's a question 4. Okay, let's see the question 4. Question 4 is show about the diagram of the single ray of the light. Okay, there's a being, uh, being direct. Okay, wait, I change the color first. Okay, now you can see here. Okay, there's a light. Okay, there's a being direct, a plane mirror. So this one should be the mirror. Okay, now the light ray, they go, go straight. So mirror OR. Okay, they go straight. So when here they find it, there's a 55 degree. Actually, this one not incident angle. Incident angle should be here. Okay, so from here, you need to find the incident angle is how many first because the question want to find refraction angle. So from here, we must know the raw law of refraction. Incident angle and refractor angle must be the same. So from here, we find it. When you find the incident, data 1 is how many? So you must know the data i is how many. So from here, we go to see how to find the data i. So we just take 90 degrees. Okay, go to minus a 55. So after that, we get the answer. So you get the answer is a 35, is it? So both must be the same. Both also must be uh, the same answer. So 35 and 35. So from here, we choose the answer should be the C. Lah. Okay, the answer should be the C. Okay, now we go to see the second. Okay, let's see the second one. This one is a figure. Okay, the figure they show about the light ray also. Incident to the surface of the plane PQ. Okay, surface of the plane PQ is a flat. Okay, then they got normal line. This one is a normal line. Okay, normal line must be 90 degrees. Okay, so from here now the mirror they said rotate. So this one is a keyword. They rotate by anti-clockwise. Rotate anti-clockwise up 15 degree. So now the question asks you what is the refracted angle. So from here we need to find incident angle first after rotate. So now I got redraw again. Redraw again the plane because already rotate. So now first one. Okay, we show about the PQ. Okay, the PQ is a flat one. Normally it's a flat. Now I go to rotate. So after rotate, you find it become up 15. So we need to label here. Okay, this one already up. Okay, they're about the 15 degree. So there's a 15 degree. So we label 15 degree. Okay, so now we need we need to redraw our normal line. Because you already rotate. So our normal line must be 90 degree with the plane. That's a PQ. So we redraw. So when I just draw, you find it. There's a one straight line. Then after that, 90 degree with the PQ. So from here, we need to redraw again the 90 degrees. So this one is a 90. Okay. After that, where's your incident? Incident always the same. Incident is a 15 degree from the normal. So that's a never change one. So from here, I draw again our incident ray. Okay, incident ray. So incident ray now is exactly same like the normal. Okay, exactly same like the normal. So from here, can you see any refraction or not? Now don't have any refraction because you don't have any anchor. So from here, I can say about... Your incident angle, uh, your incident angle equal to the zero. So that means now your refracted angle also must be equal to the zero. So from here, the answer is A. Both also equal zero when you rotate uh, anti clockwise 15. So understand, huh? if I rotate clockwise 15, so your incident angle will become 30. 15 plus 15. Okay, so now I rotate anti-clockwise means 15 minus 15. Then no more anchor already. Okay, then we go to the second one. Okay, now you can see the second question. 
Okay, now they show about the figure. The plane of the water wave, they produced by the vibrating wooden bar. They vibrate at the rate of 15 weights per second. So this one we need to discuss. What means of rate of 15? Rate of 15 waves per second. That means one second, the vibration is a 15 times. This one is a mini. Okay, 15 times. So we can say in other words, the frequency equal to the 15 hertz. Because the frequency always talking one second, you make it how many times? How many complete oscillation? So from here, this one situation, the vibration is one second that can vibrate. Okay, 15 of the complete vibration. Okay, now the question first one we see A. A from the figure, you need to mark the direction of the propagation of the wave, uh, water wave. So normally the water wave propagation is go to left or go to right only. Because the diagram they show you is a, is a reflection of the wave pattern. So you need to draw is a wave uh, arrow. So the arrow is either go to right or either go to left. It's up to you. So from here I show the answer here is go to the okay, right. Okay. So another thing you must know the direction of the uh, vibration. Okay, this one is a vibration, is it? Then another one is a direction. Must be 90 degrees. Wave pattern and also wave direction must be 90 degrees. Okay, now the next one, determine the wavelength. Okay, determine the wavelength. So you need to using the ruler to measure the wavelength. Okay, where is the wavelength? This one we call wavelength. Okay, this one we call wavelength. So this one is a lambda. So you need to using your ruler to measure the answer. Okay, so from here we check the answer. That's a 0.4 cm. Okay, then we go to number three. Calculate the speed of the water wave. Okay, speed of the water wave, remember the formula. So V equal F lambda. Uh, this one is a formula to calculate the speed of the wave. Okay, speed we don't know. We just write here. Frequency from the question, 15. Okay, lambda is 0 0.4 cm. Cm, uh, so everything we're using the cm. Okay, so from here I check it. The answer should be 6 cm as negative 1. Okay, so from here we find it as a 6 cm as negative 1. So if you convert to meter, then you write in meter. So from here we never convert, so we just learn about the cm. Okay, so we go to the next one. Okay, let's see the next question. Okay, B. A plane refractor is placed the difference of the inclined anchor. Okay, so you can see here we got different of the anchor. One is a flat one. Another one with anchor in front of the water wave as shown in the figure. One and also the two. So the first one, you need to draw the pattern of the refracted wave. Uh, you need to draw the refracted wave in the figure. So the first step, before we want to draw the refracted wave, we must draw about the arrow. Okay, remember? So from here we start, okay, the arrow must be start from the wave to go in. The wave must be start to go in, then hit the refractor, then the wave will come out. So from here we start, wave to go in. Okay, we start the arrow. Okay, wave to go in. So this one is an arrow. So remember, wave to go in, we must know this part must be 90 degrees. Okay, too large. Okay, so this part must be 90 degrees, always 90. Okay, refracted wave or you say incident wave must be 90 degree with the direction. Okay, after you draw this one, okay, then you need to draw is a, a refracted arrow first. Refracted arrow must be go outside. So we now to try to write, to draw it. Okay, this one is a refracted arrow. Okay, after you draw the refracted arrow, now we need to draw is a refracted wave. So the refracted wave must be 90 degrees. So if I draw here, okay, this one is a refracted arrow. So your refracted wave must be 90 degrees. Okay, 90 degrees in mind. After that, the lambda also same like the original. So this one we call refracted wave. So we see the answer here. Okay, so 
uh, although this almost the same distance uh, so when we draw we never draw overlap we just draw a little bit beside and using the dotted line so if we're using the dotted line then we can differentiate which one is the original which one is a refracted so we just continue to draw lah. okay continue to draw the refracted wave pattern okay there's a straight line so for this one actually there's a no problem because there's a plane Okay, now we need to see is the second one. Second one with anchor. Okay, with anchor. So from here, I want you to start with uh, arrow. The arrow go in first. So the arrow must be go in to hit the refractor. So we start with first one, the arrow go in. Okay, they hit the refractor. So after that, from here, they must reflect it, is it? So when they reflect it, we need to draw the, uh, the anchor first because we know the incident anchor. Okay, we just write incident anchor must be equal uh, refractor anchor. Okay, so from here we need to find the incident anchor. We must draw the normal line. So let's see the normal line. Okay, so this one is a normal line. Normal line is 90 degrees. So we just label here. Okay, 90 degrees. Huh? 90 degrees with the plane. Okay, after you draw the normal line, then we know the incident anchor. You can see the incident anchor. Okay, this one we call it incident anchor. So we just label this one is a data I. Okay, we label at the side. This one is a data I. Okay, when you know the data I example here is a 40 degree. So that means another one should be 40 degree, is it? So from here we go to draw measure another 40 degree another side so from here you measure 40 already then you label this one is an anchor r so this one we call it refracted anchor okay after you know there's a 40 degree okay now we can start to draw our refracted ray ray first huh? not about the wave okay now we draw okay this one is my refracted uh, ray Okay, after you draw the refracted ray, okay, now the last part, we draw about the refracted wave. Okay, let's see the refracted wave must be 90 degrees with this one green color arrow. Okay, so the first one I show you. Okay, we check using your ruler to check, right? make sure there's a 90 degrees. So this one is a 90. So after you know this one, the first line is a 90, then the following you also must be 90. Make sure the lambda, the wavelength, is same like the original. Okay, now we draw the second line. Okay, this one 90. Then we draw the second line. Then we draw the third line. Okay, now we're going to see wavelength. Okay, this one we call lambda. So this one also is a lambda. So if I say this one lambda 1, this one also must be lambda. Okay, so this one is how we draw the refracted uh, wave and also refracted arrow by follow the anchor. Okay, now we go and see the second part. Okay, now we need to draw. Okay, we need to practice how to draw. Okay, I don't have any ruler, so I just plain to draw. Huh? You go saying it, so you go to see lah, what happened. Lah. Okay, now I start to draw. Okay, first I draw the incident arrow okay this one is my incident arrow okay make sure it's 90 lah so it assume 90 lah because i'm using the plane the free hand to draw okay i try using the ruler okay now i need to draw the normal line okay i need to draw the normal line okay normal line i'm using different color i'm using the blue one is it okay so from here normal line yes up up Okay, so from here, this one normal line, we draw it become longer. Okay, normal line is 90 degrees. Okay, now I go to label where is the anchor. Eh? Okay, the anchor is here. Okay, this one we call incident anchor. Okay, so you need to measure like, what is the incident anchor. So your refracted anchor is almost the same. Lah. So your anchor is almost like this. This one we call refracted anchor. So now you need to draw another line. Okay, we check. Others color, green color. Okay, now your anchor is almost like this. A little bit. 
Okay, so this one is my uh, the refracted ray. Okay, now I need to draw the last part. There's a refracted wave. So from here, I change another color. I'm using the, the pink one. Okay, now I need to draw. Make sure there's a 90. So for example, I draw like this. Uh, make sure here is a 90. So another one, you continue. Lah. You go to adjust. So this one also is a lambda. So make sure both also same distance. Okay, so this one is a refraction uh, of the water wave. Okay, then we go to next. Okay, then we go to question 10. Okay, question 10 is about the barrier. Okay, the wave go hit to the barrier. So the barrier is in front of the shore. Okay, so what happened to the sea wave as a hit to the barrier wall? So the wave must be refracted back, is it, when it hit the barrier? So we see the answer here. Okay, so the answer is... Uh, wait. Okay, this one is drawing. So we go to drawing first. Lah. The A we know first. We go and see number two. They want you to draw the wave pattern. So from here, remember when they hit, they must go back. Is it? So the first we draw the arrow first. The arrow is refracted back. Okay, after the arrow, we need to draw about the refracted wave. So refracted wave, remember, this one is a plane. So when you draw, there's just a little bit beside the original. But they will never draw overlap. Okay, you just draw beside and using the dotted line. Then we see clear which one is an incident, which one is a refracted. Okay, now we draw first one, then the second and the third one. So this one is a refracted wave. Okay, then we go to number one. What happened to the C wave as the hit to the barrier? So the answer must be that we refracted from the barrier. Okay, number two, we finish drawing. Then we go number three. What's a function for the barrier wall they built in the sea near to the shore? Okay, suppose they want to cover the shore, is it? They want to prevent the erosion. So that's why they want to build about the barrier, prevent the uh, the strong of the uh, sea wave that will hit to the shore. So from here, the answer is prevent the shore erosion by the strong sea wave. So this one is the answer for the question 10B. Okay, we go to the next one. Okay, next one is the C. If the velocity of the wave 9.6. Okay, now the info they give you. Okay, velocity is a 9.6. So we just write the info. V equal 9.6. Okay, and the wavelength of the wave, wavelength, that's a lambda, equal 12 cm. What is the frequency? So from here, this one question, actually, we're just using one of the formula. Lah. There's a straightforward question. V equal F lambda. So from here, there's a 9.6. So equal frequency, we don't know. Then the lambda is a 12. So we just 9.6 divide by the 12. So the frequency here, we get it as a 0 0.8 hertz. Okay, remember the unit for the Frequency is a uh, hertz. Okay, we write about the uh, unit for the frequency. Okay, so from here, we just complete the tutorial question. Okay, then I think the other also okay. If you got problem, that means you can ask by using the telegram. I will answer you there. So, our lesson just until here. Lah. So, hopefully, you understand what I'm talking about. Thank you for your watching. Uh. So, be study the other topics and also do revision.